I do not know my password. Yep, I do not. I guess I'm not going live on Instagram. Hello, Facebook. I am live on Facebook. I am live on TikTok. And then I'm also live on um, YouTube. I should be live in a couple groups on Facebook as well. We are giving bare face realness today because I did not feel like putting on any makeup. But I, um, I asked a question to a lot of the groups that I'm in, a, um, I am an admin of today and also on my Facebook page. Hello on TikTok. I asked a question that's very simple, which is what are you struggling with in your business? And so I have gotten a ton of responses when it comes to struggling in your business. So I am going to um, be going over these. Um, I'm going to be discussing that today. So if you have any questions, feel free to. Um, sorry, I need to probably move this because I realized when I like move um, TikTok people. When I move to like come talk to y'all, I'm like looking up above my camera on my laptop. So that's probably weird. But anywho, I wanted to get on here and discuss a lot of these questions or, you know, struggles that people were having. I think one of them that I, um, well, hello, cousin. <laughs> I think uh, one of the questions, or not one of the questions, one of the, um, one of the posts had like, I got 68 comments about, you know, people talking about their struggles uh, with entrepreneurship. So I wanted to kind of come and chime in um, as a strategist on some ways that you can be able to um, really get over those struggles with entrepreneurship. So thank you so much, Carmen. <laughs> I have not seen you in forever, baby girl. All right. Um. Okay, so y'all type some questions in here. As y'all do that, I'm going to pull up the struggles that I've seen the most. Um, trying to find the post really quick. So give me a second. So one of the answers that I got was, and I'm sorry y'all if y'all can hear my kids because baby, one thing my kids gonna do they going to yell when I'm live streaming. Always and all days. That's what my kids like to do. Oh, thank you. Somebody said you're pretty. Thank you so much. I look a mess right now, but thank you so much. Okay, so someone said, um, this is in my luxury picnic group. So someone said, um, right now, this unbearable heat. <laughs> I don't want to look at a picnic and don't want anyone booking one either. Girl, I'm in Texas. <laughs> And all I got to say is if I go from my house to my car, I'm already sweating. So I, I understand exactly what you mean. I don't want to look at a picnic and I probably wouldn't want nobody booking one either if I was still in the business. So it is that hot. Like it is super hot right now. I'm really wondering where you're from. You must be in Florida. So somebody said they're in Texas in Austin. It's like 108. Yes. Okay. Keeping up with social media posts. That is a huge struggle. Okay. So when it comes to social media, there's like a ton of different schedulers out here that you can use to help you keep track of like posting consistently on social media. So one of the ones that I, I use consistently, but sometimes I don't use is, is one of those weird things. It's something called Plan Ollie. And so I'm a very visual person. So this one allows you to plan out your content visually on Instagram. If you like to have your, your Instagram feed be cute or whatever, or you have like those little, um, what is that? The little box that like makes like one big picture, but it's like several different squares. If you like that kind of stuff, then Plan Ollie would be like your best friend to visually plan out those type of feeds. Um, if you're a visual person or if you have a certain aesthetic that you're trying to have, with your feed, Plan Ollie would be a good one for that because you can schedule it. I believe they now just added where you can schedule your TikToks out 
with it as well. Do not uh, quote me on that, but I believe so. Um, but I do know that you can schedule out Pinterest posts, um, Facebook, um, and then also Facebook, Instagram, Pinterest, TikTok they have, but I'm not sure how the auto post feature is with that. But Instagram was one of the biggest features that you can do your auto posting with uh, Plan Ali. And I did like it for that if you are a visual person and you like that kind of stuff. There's also other apps like um, Later. Later is a really good app. It also has a, a visual planner. If you are a visual person like me who likes to visually plan um, out your content, it is a good platform for that. Um, Hootsuite is also another platform. I'm going to be quite honest. I never really got into Hootsuite. Um, it was just it was just a lot going on for me with Hootsuite. So I never got into them. So I can't really tell you honestly how they are. But Hootsuite is another one. There's another one that is called um, UNUM. Or it's, I might be spelling it wrong, but it's it's four letters. And so that platform, you can also visually schedule out your post as well so that you can be more consistent with posting. Um, because consistency is key with social media if you really want to grow. So having it scheduled out is going to be key. But also bulk creating, um, that's going to help save you so much time because that's something that I do to help save me time. I will literally have a day where I will sit and shoot it, all my content, whether it's photo, video content, all of my content, I try to do it within that one day. And then the next day, or if I'm not too tired that same day, I'll go and edit all that content and then schedule it out from there. But it saves me so much time from having to physically go record a video every single day because that's taking me away from things that I need to be doing in my business. So um, I don't know why I'm feeling like I got a burp and it's not cute. Oh, there we go. I had some spicy, uh, some spicy chicken from Popeye's earlier. And sometimes when I have it and I love me some spicy food, but sometimes when I have it, I be burping it up and it's just mm, not cute. But anywho, um, what was I just saying? I was just saying something. I just forgot that quick. Um, what was I just saying? I was talking about some, oh yeah, planning content. So um, when you plan out your content, it just makes it so much easier. If you plan it and bulk create it instead of creating each and every single day, you will get so burnt out. Like I promise you, if you try to like record your video same day, edit it, and then try to hear it even post it, you will be so burnt out. You'll never get anything done, anything done. So you might as well set aside a day and treat content creation as if it is your job and create content for your business. Like set one day aside, even if you don't, um, even if you don't really have um, content creation as like your goal and you're really just trying to promote your business, um, you also, anything that you do in your business, I would be recording it. Like if you are packaging orders, if you just time-lapse yourself packaging orders and then you can like put some text on screen later and literally post that. Um, also you can, you know, I know a lot of the people who were asking these questions were in my luxury picnic group. A lot of you guys, when you're doing your setups and your mock-ups and things like that, y'all need to be recording that and editing it and putting it onto TikTok. Um, also put it onto Instagram Reels. Instagram is very visual. So if you want that whole pretty aesthetic of things, Instagram is going to be the space for that. TikTok is more like what, what kind of value can you bring to the client or the customer? So um, you want to make sure that on TikTok, you're leading with value. And on Instagram, you're kind of leading more with the aesthetics of things in order for it to really be pushed through the algorithm. All right. So another thing that I saw on here, um, somebody moved to a new state. So they're basically starting again. And it's hard. Oh, that's difficult. So if you've just moved to a new state and you're having to start all over building clientele, I would be getting my butt to every single networking event possible <laughs> to meet people so that people are aware and they're able to learn about your business because nobody's going to learn about your business if you're just behind a you know computer screen, unless you just have a virtual business and you do everything online. Yes, you, know, you can do everything digitally, but really getting out there and meeting people is what's really going to help skyrocket your business and also your revenue 
when you um, get out here and actually talk to people and meet people. So I would be at every single networking event if I were you. <laughs> get you some business cards or you don't even have to have a vision uh, business cards. I have a digital card because I almost never <laughs> have a physical card. I always just get the digital because at the end of the day, I need your digits. <laughs> give me your digits. Give me your number. I need your number so I can text you over my card. And that way I can actually follow up with the person who I met if I actually made a connection with them. So um, make you a digital card. You can do it with Blink. Blink is free. Um, it's an app that you can download. I don't know if Android has it, but I know for sure. My kids are over here yelling. I know for sure that Apple has it. It's called B-L-I-N-Q. Blink. So get that, download it. You can literally set you up a digital card within five minutes or less. So I would definitely do that um, to help you um, network when you're out. So if you don't have cards just yet, you have no excuse because you can have a digital one and text it right over to people or they can scan your, QO, uh, your QR code uh, for that. All right. The... I can see that I'm live, but I have no idea where the viewers are. But anywho, um, another thing I see. Okay, so this is coming once again from my. Um, this is coming from my luxury picnic group. So this one says inconsistency with bookings. So I see a lot of people are having um, that issue because the next person said getting people to book. So I don't know if those ladies are on Facebook right now, but my biggest question is if you're having trouble getting bookings, what does your marketing look like? How are people finding you? Are they able to find you? Do you have an online presence? Like those are the questions that I really want to ask you to be able to answer those questions and help you. Um, and if y'all on Facebook and y'all can see me, give me a thumbs up or a hey or something. Don't just be dry and watching. Don't just be looking. Any ideas on a couple starting a business? That is a good one. So for a couple starting a business, why is this my husband? <laughs> hey, hubby, I see you watching. <laughs> um, so far as... Any ideas for a couple starting a business? I mean, there definitely has to be some ground rules um, laid out. Um, some type of agreement between the spouse, uh, the spouses as well. Give me some more details on um, ideas. So are you saying ideas of what type of business they should start or just ideas on as um, far as running a business together? Okay, so let me see what else people are saying in here. Sorry, y'all. I'm trying to go back to that post, and I don't know where it is on that tab. Hmm. You just got to love um, social media because I'm not social media, technology. I, I just lost the tab. Okay, there it is. Perfect. Oh, I'm just now seeing y'all. Hey, I hope you guys can are enjoying the stream so far. Please, like I said, if you have any questions as um, far as things you're struggling with in your business, please feel free to um, comment them down below so I can answer those questions for you. All right. Hi, Wendy. How are you? Okay, so let me go back to that tab. Okay, someone says, does anyone know of a good sell site for picnic items I have for sale? Okay, I already answered that question earlier for her. You can post it in my Facebook group, Luxury Picnics, and sell all your stuff if you're trying to get rid of it on there. Okay, consistency in the South Florida heat and also pricing according to my worth. Okay, I see pricing also being mentioned several different times. So I'm going to go ahead and speak on that. I kind of spoke on consistency and what can help with consistency, which is systems. And I can go even deeper into the conversation of systems because this is what I help my clients with is creating systems and automations to make their processes easier to run their business. Because if you have no systems or automations in place, you are going to run yourself to the ground. You're like literally going to be tired. So I use like things I mentioned earlier, like Plan Ollie. I use them all the time. Um, there was another one I used to use, uh, Omnum, that I talked about, U-M. 
U-N. I used to use them all the time. Um, but Hootsuite, like I mentioned earlier, I'm not a big fan of them. Like I didn't really like their platform. But as far as like creating a, um, I don't know who this is trying to join. As far as creating a, um, like I guess you can say a hub for your business to kind of help you get those ideas out and automations and things like that. You're going to need some type of CRM system to help you, you know, keep track of your clients. And then also I use Trello. Trello is like my best friend to help me like brainstorm like a lot of ideas and be able to take those ideas, put it onto a board, and then I can move those ideas, um, set due dates for them and move them as needed as I, you know, get done with each one of those, I guess, ideas or whatever it is that I'm working on. So, um, and then someone also said pricing. Okay, so pricing is what I'm seeing, like I just said, a huge, to be a huge issue with everyone who's in the group. So my biggest thing when I used to do picnics, and I'm going to give you my advice, uh, and I see your question, Ebony. I'm going to get to it, okay? Um, give me one second. So my biggest, um, trying to like everyone's thing. Um, my biggest thing when it comes to pricing is you have to figure out what you are worth. Like if you don't know what you're worth, people are not going to know what, you know, they're not going, they're going to treat you how you treat yourself. So if you feel like you are not worth whatever you're charging, your clients that come are going to treat you exactly the same. So you have to start pricing yourself accordingly. Now, bare bones for figuring out pricing, and I can go way deeper into this on another live, but bare bones for figuring out your pricing is starting with, with your bills, right? So we all have rent, we all have, you know, car notes, car insurance, bills. We all have our monthly core bills that we have that have to be paid and taken care of every single month, regardless of what's going on. The bills is due and you can't call the bill person and be like, hey, you know what? I ain't got you this month. Well, OK, if you ain't got me this month, them bills, whatever it is, the water, the lights, the gas, the rent, everything gonna be shut off. So you have to start treating your business like a business and stop allowing people who come in and ask for discounts or ask, you know, for you to lower your prices or say it's not worth that price, or whatever, you have to start letting those people just just let them go. Say no to them. They'll find somebody else. Um, but you have to be firm on your price. So bare bones with figuring out your pricing, figure out your bills, write down that number. If you just wanted to make enough to cover your bills, divide, you know, add up all your bills. Um if you want a little extra spending money, add that in there too. If you like to gamble or whatever addictions you may have, add that in there too. And then um, divide that by 30 days because there's typically 30 days in a month. And that can give you a baseline to pricing, right? But if you want to start charging more than that and you really want, and this is not like a, a hobby for you, this is like a real legitimate business, then you need to write down a number, what is your number that you want to make? Where do you see yourself in the next 5, 10, 15, 20 years? What kind of lifestyle are you living? Are you driving a G-Wagon? Because that's one of my dream cars. <laughs> are you driving a G-Wagon? Or are you still driving that little hoopty? And if you are, that's okay. Ain't nothing wrong with that. But where do you want to be? How do you want that life to look? Do you want to purchase a new house? What kind of goals do you have for yourself financially? You need to think of that number of what's going to get you to those goals. So let's say your number is 100,000. Okay, cool. If you know you want to make $100,000 a year, then you need to divide that by 12 months, divide the 12 months by um, four weeks. I mean, by that, divide that month. Sorry, I'm horrible at numbers, by the way. <laughs> Math was not my forte. But divide that number by um, 12 months. You take that number that you get per month, Divide that by four weeks, divide, you know, whatever that number is by seven days, divide whatever that number is by, you know, 24 hours in a day. 
and boom, you have your number, you have a goal, at least you have like bare bones of what you need to make in order to achieve that 100,000 if that was your goal. And far as pricing, it depends on, you know, what type of business you have, what goes into your business, because you also have to think about inventory. If you do have inventory for your business, you have to think about your labor, your time. There are certain things that you need to price yourself in accordingly for that. So like I said, I can do a deeper live on that, but that is going to give you the bare minimum of pricing. But far as like I keep seeing in the picnic group, there's a lot of you saying that, you know, people are asking for discounts and things like that, or they're wanting to stick within a certain budget. Baby, the group is called Luxury Picnics. <laughs> It's called luxury picnics, luxury and budget. <laughs> they not sisters, they not cousins, they not even related. So if they're talking about they're on a budget and they want something luxury, they are not your client. They got to move around and you have to be okay with letting them go to find someone who's within their budget. Okay. I'm just being real. We can't be serving everybody. Everybody don't deserve us. Okay. Okay. We cannot deserve, you know, be serving these ice water budgets with these champagne tastes. You got to let them go. So <laughs> when it comes to that, somebody laughed. <laughs> when it comes to that, make sure that you um, make sure you're pricing yourself accordingly. And like I said, I can do another live, you know, on pricing directly um, and answer some questions on that and go a little bit deeper. But I just wanted to make sure that, you know, y'all have like the bare bones when it comes to pricing if you are stuck. And um, yeah, somebody says we can't serve everybody. No, we cannot. We are we can't serve everybody. If we did, then we would run ourselves ragged. That's why there. I keep saying there's just so much money for people in the world. There's like so much money out here to be made. Everyone's not going to be your client, and you can't help every single body. That's why God made so many people on earth. Because somebody else, whoever you can't touch, somebody else can, and they may be the perfect fit for that person. So don't get your uh, get you know. Your panties in a bunch for people who aren't even worth your time. All right. So I see somebody else said, at this point, I need funding. That's um, not going to be sponsored by my nine to five girl. I understand. Some grant money specifically. Okay, girl. And then she said, everything else is great. Business has always been steady. If I ever get too burnt out or, or overwhelmed. Um, I just blocked my schedule with kids returning to school. I expect August to be slow. I'm totally fine with that, especially since uh, with the heat. So um, if you're speaking about grants, I can actually send you guys, I'll probably post it later, a list full of grants that are open right now for small business owners. So I will post that in the group. There are several grants for small business owners, um, women business owners, minority business owners. So I'll be sure to post that. But um, also... If you need more funding, you also can start just raising your price. Raise your price on your services to help you also gain that capital. There's also ways you can get money um, with business funding if you have your business structured correctly um, and right. I do know some people who can help you get funded for your business or funding for your business as well. So we can have that conversation. Um, all right. Someone said starting. Well, that is very broad. <laughs> that is very broad. Um, I don't even know where to begin with just starting because there's so much that goes into that that is such a broad subject. But you got to start somewhere, right? You got to start somewhere. So if you know you want to start, and I'm assuming since you're in the picnic group, you're wanting to start your luxury picnic business. Um, start with, and I, I think I have quite a few videos on this, on how to start your luxury picnic business. So start with that. Um, also figure out who you want to market to, who is your target? Also do a SWOT analysis, you know, uh, figure out what your strengths and weaknesses are, figure out who your competition is. Even though I always personally say I have no competition, I am my own competition, but you still need to know and do research on your market and see what they're doing so that you can see how to price yourself accordingly. You definitely don't want to be the person who's newer in the industry, who's coming in and selling our services or whatever services that you have for $75 when everyone else is charging 500. Like you don't want to be that person, not only because it's hurting the industry, but it's also going to hurt you and you're going to be burnt out. 
So you want to make sure that you uh, price yourself accordingly. Um, and I kind of spoke about that earlier. But when it comes to starting, there are so many aspects to starting your business that we would be here all night if I talked about it. But I will be sharing something at the end if y'all stick around um, where I can share more about um, if you're looking to start your business and things like that, a program that I have. Um, okay, let me see. Someone I'm trying to go back through here. Consistency with bookings, I kind of touched on that. Funding to expand, I just touched on that. Uh, want to make micro events my full-time career. That is a very good, I'm telling you, the events is still a really booming and really good industry. Staffing, ooh, good folks is hard to find. That's all I can tell you. <laughs> good folks is seriously hard to find. Um, you want to make sure that if you're in a position to hire someone and that you make sure that you know their strengths and their weaknesses and you know yours. That way that you can pay them for the things that you lack at. And that's going to help you scale your business. If you're good at, you know, the design and, you know, planning and things like that for your business, and you know you're not good with numbers or you're not good with uh, inventory management, organizing things, pay someone else to do that for you, but make sure that they're good at it, right? Um, also with staffing, you want to make sure that you can hire someone that you trust because <laughs> as an entrepreneur, baby, all I can tell you sometimes is hard to really find someone that you can trust. Um, and then also you still want to be able to pay people because people do have lives, you know, they do have bills. So you also want to be able to pay people a fair wage, but staffing is a whole nother deep, deep, deep conversation we can have on another live as well. Okay. Someone said pricing already talked about that. Mine at the time would be, I don't have a website, so I'm not sure uh, how to properly get the information out to people. Creating the website seems a bit complicated with all the options um, that you can have with the picnic. My question will be, should I make the picnic options as groups instead of being able to do all the separate add-ons? Make them as groups. Okay, I see what you're saying. Okay, another issue uh, which would probably come with doing more setups and spacing and spacing everything when set up, uh, setting up. Um, this is the latest picnic I did. It was a little, a little concerned how everything was spaced out. Let me see. I'm being nosy now. Well, girl, you did good on your first picnic. It looks really good. I really want to know what you mean by spacing. It looks very good to me. Are you saying like, because everything's far away, far as like your drinks? I really want to know the answer to that. Because it looks really good to me. As far as the website, when I very first started my picnic business, and I'm not in the industry anymore, the um, picnics or luxury event business anymore, but I used to be. But when I very first started out, I didn't have a website. Girl, <laughs> I had Instagram and a dream. No, for real, though. I had Instagram. I started posting pictures on Instagram. I started posting pictures when I very first started on Facebook Marketplace and Facebook groups. I used a booking link with HoneyBook. Uh, well, actually, even before I used HoneyBook, I used, uh, I think, Cal Calendly. And um, no, it wasn't Calendly. It was, um, I think it was, it's called Acuity Scheduling. I can never pronounce it right. I hope I'm saying it right. But I used them to help me schedule to book people for that and had different packages available and they can click and add things on. I didn't have a website. That's that's the moral of the story. I didn't have a website to start. And you don't need this big, pretty website to start. I would just start, you know, um, use what you have. Use your Instagram as your portfolio so people can see your work and make a link. And with the link, people can book directly from there. They have questions. They can email you. They have a phone number for people to be able to reach out to you. You don't need a website just yet, especially if it's going to be costing you a lot of money. But if you're at the point where you need a website because you've grown and you're like, okay, I can afford it because you don't want another bill if you don't need one, right? Um, then I definitely would get a website. Um, I personally, when I was in the business, I made my website with Wix. 
Um, Wix is a really good user-friendly platform to make websites with. I also have used Squarespace. I've used WordPress. I've used it all. I'm pretty good at designing websites and things like that. But um, that don't mean I want to do yours, baby. That's it. I'm just saying that. But I'm good at it. <laughs> I can do it if I need to. But um, you can go in Wix and literally design your website in a couple of days. They have templates available for you, like on their website, you know, that you get absolutely free. Um, the website wouldn't be free, technically. I mean, well, they do have like, you could make your website public and you'll just get like a Wix dom domain. So it wouldn't be your website until you actually connect your domain, like the one you purchase. Um, but the templates and things like that, moral of the story is they're, they're free. So you can use that to start and um, put your pictures in there, you know, set it out, lay it out however you want. Um, even though I had a website with Wix, I even had one with Squarespace, I still had my booking stuff. So like either when I very first started out, I had Acuity Scheduling and it was still linked on my website for people to book directly on there so that I could get their information and everything was on there. Um, at one point, I even had it to where, excuse me, I'm burping. That's so gross. Ugh, sorry. Um, at one point, I had um, on my Wix website, I had it to where people could basically like add it to their cart. So it was kind of like set up like e-commerce style and they could add it to their cart and check out that way. But I ran into issues with that. So I didn't do it that way anymore. So I just stuck with... Um, the scheduling way because it wouldn't it would block it off on the calendar um so i know i had that time booked so nobody could go back in and book it and then it also uh it just made everything easier i had the client's information their phone number email all that stuff like that in there if they had add-ons i had that on there so um even though i had a website i still had the booking side um so people could book and Wix even has a booking side of their website, but I'm not the biggest fan of their booking side. I still used, at the time I used HoneyBook. I used, I've even used Acuity, like I said, scheduling. There was another one I used, uh, Paperbell. So those were some of the softwares and systems I used to, um, to help me with scheduling. Somebody else said getting noticed, okay. Mommy is on live, and you coming in here? I'm on live. Thank you, baby. Something about that. Okay, so uh, they just be busting in here, y'all. Don't have no little girls. They just do not care. <laughs> they be busting in here with no coops of anything going on. She's still trying to tell me what's going on. And I'm like, girl, I am on live. Okay, somebody said getting noticed. Getting noticed, I kind of talked about that a little bit. I'll come back to that. You know what? Let me write it down so I can come back at the end for that. Getting noticed. Okay, the business part. Somebody said the business part. I love decorating. I hate the business part of it, <laughs> the grown-up stuff. Trust me, girl. I think all entrepreneurs hate that part. <laughs> okay, somebody said the people don't uh, – the people want a lot – the people want a lot, fit nothing. I think you meant for nothing because I'm pretty sure it auto-corrected. Don't you hate when Apple does that? I think you meant for nothing. Okay. But with this heat in Florida, something serious, I'm thinking of offering at certain times of year, offer AC, but you can't feel it. Dang. That's how you know it's hot. <laughs> That's how you know it's hot when you have the AC and it it's just blowing heat Oh. Girl, I know. <laughs> oh, man. Okay. If the people want a lot for nothing, you're marketing to the wrong people. You're completely marketing to the wrong people. So I would start changing and switching up my marketing and, and who I am targeting to. All right. Somebody said consistent bookings. I kind of spoke on that. Promoting consistently. I spoke on that. Social media exposure. But I um, but I am speaking positive things into existence. As I have a news opportunity and meeting and meeting to partner with a local vineyard. Okay, that's exciting. Um, that's less than a mile from my home. Also have two large events planned these next two weeks. Well, that's exciting. See, look at you speaking into it. It's my mindset shifting. You gotta shift your mindset. Um, we have to start changing the way that we speak, 
you know, things over ourselves. If we keep speaking about, I have no bookings, I have no time, I have no this, I have no money. You're going to have no bookings. <laughs> you're going to have no time. You have to start speaking, you know, what you want into existence. Um, the Bible says, name it, claim it, believe it and receive it. Yes, Lord. Okay. So, um, Somebody said, yeah, luxury and affordable just don't go together. <laughs> yes, no, girl. As I'm saying, they are not, they don't go together. Like luxury and you want an affordable, no, 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 no. No, luxury is luxury. Budget is budget. They're two different. They are not related. They're not even cousins. They're not even goosey, granny, long distant cousins. They nothing. They don't belong in the same sentence at all. So if somebody is on a budget when it comes to your service, then they need to move around to someone who could fit their budget, especially if you're off offering a luxury service. So I would quickly move them on around. Okay. Someone says having content going live, uh, going live and prices. Okay. So if oh, I think you're meaning going live to start your business and prices. Okay. I spoke on pricing a little bit. All of the above business, then profits, then profits. That means we need to rework some strategies. Okay, getting business to stay consistent in the winter with Virginia's cold winter. Ooh, Virginia, girl. I know that's cold. Woo! Okay. Um, in the winter, I would start focusing on slumber parties. If you're still in the picnic business, you can do indoor parties and slumber parties. That would be a good market for you. Uh, and because it's indoor, too. You got to worry about the heat. <laughs> Social media and knowing how to use it. And when to use it to coordinate, et cetera. Okay, I'll touch a little bit deeper on social media in just a second. Oh, hi, Miss Beverly. Somebody said, she says, so proud of all the amazing things you and hubby do. Thank you. <laughs> that just melted my heart. Thank you. <laughs> She's so, so cute. Thank you. I'm sorry, I'm just not seeing that. Okay, let me go to... The other side. Okay. Oh, it's 11 questions in here now. Oh my God, y'all. I'm so sorry. I'm just blabbing. Uh, why is it not letting me see it? I probably need to refresh my page. It's still not letting me see it. That's weird. Okay. Someone said, yes, that grant link, please, girl, I will post it for you. There are several uh, grants on there, so you can go through it and see which ones you qualify for. So I'll be sure to post it when I get off this live. Uh, someone said, yes, um, thanks, I'm getting, I think I'm putting too much thought into how the website should be. I will look at a few to see how they have a set. Yes, don't put, I mean, you do want your website to, if you're, especially for this group, for Luxury Picnics, if you are offering a luxury service, you do want the vibe of your website and of your products and services to give luxury. You don't want it to give ice water. You want it to give luxury. If you give luxury, you're going to attract luxury. If you're giving ice water, you're going to attract that. So you do want to put a little bit of thought into it, but if you're not ready for a website yet, focus on making... Instagram your portfolio and make it pretty and use HoneyBook for booking. And then when you're ready to have a website designed, whether you do it yourself or you have it professionally designed, then you can, um, you know, make it as pretty as you want to be. Okay, let me go back to StreamYard so I can see all the questions. Oh, hi, Christy. <laughs> I am just now seeing you in here. Um. Okay, someone says, uh, do I have to get my LLC right away? I've been doing my luxury picnic business almost a year now. You don't have to get an LLC right away if you don't want to. If you're not there in your business, you don't have to. But I can almost guarantee you that you will want to later on and you would have wished you had if you did it when you started your business. Um, there's just a lot of benefits to having your business structured correctly and also having like, you know, an LLC, S Corp, whatever you want to structure your business as. There's a ton of perks with that, um, with building your business credit and also getting you access to capital and funding as you grow your business. Then you can get if you were just doing it with your personal credit. With, you know, business credit, you have access to way more capital if you build it out and you build it correctly. Versus if you're doing, 
your personal credit. And so I would, I mean, me personally, I have an LLC and I, you know, as soon as you start a business, I would always encourage you to, but if you're not ready, then don't, don't give yourself that type of um, worry or stress. Um, Especially if you've been in the business almost a year, I feel like it would be a good time to go ahead and invest and get your LLC. Um, But make sure that you um, hire someone or if you don't, if, if you don't know how to already set it up yourself, hire someone to help you structure it correctly. Uh, okay. We can't serve anybody. Yes. Yes. I'm glad y'all understand. Okay. Uh, you don't have, have to, but I recommend doing it since it's been a year. of cons- Okay. Yeah. Somebody. Okay. I guess somebody was commenting to hers. Um, did you know that the state of Texas will appoint you a small business counselor? Uh, hold on. Why does it do that every time I'm trying to, um, okay, here it is. Oh, did it pop it up? That's so cool. Did it pop up the question in my live? I can't can't tell. Did it? I don't know if it did or not. I have no idea if it did. Or not. I'm so new to StreamYard, y'all. This is a whole learning curve for me. Okay, someone said, did you know that the state of Texas will appoint you a small business counselor that can help you with, with guidance and resources through your small? Yes, they will. Y'all, that is such good advice. I would definitely uh, reach out. And even the small business uh, website, they have a lot of resources on there for new and small business owners. Okay, yes, I need the Facebook. I mean, I need the grant link. Yes, girl, I will be posting that. Okay, they can create a digital business card for free. Yes, yeah, that's what I was telling them, Christy. Yeah, they can create it with Popple um, and include links to social and email. Yes, like. I use my digital business card all the time because I almost can guarantee you I never have a business card on me. Almost can guarantee you. Like, I'm that one girl who does not have a business card on me. I mean, I've had several, but it's just like people throw them away anyway. Like, give me your digits. What's your number? What's your number? I need your number so I can really connect with you because this little piece of paper, I'm going to forget where I put it at anyway. Like, my brain is always all over the place. Um... Let me see. Milkshake is also free for basic website building. Yes, I've heard of Milkshake. I've never used them. Thank you so much for sharing that, Christy. Okay, someone else says, thanks. I'm putting too much. Okay, I've already answered that. Um, If you think you can, you can. If you think you can't, you can't. You're right. You, come on now. Come on now. Okay, I feel like I have some... Um, I, I don't know why, but in StreamYard, I can't, like, I can see some comments on here sometimes, and sometimes I can't, and I can't see the comments on YouTube, so I don't know if you guys are commenting on YouTube. If you are, I am so sorry. I promise I am not ignoring you, but I just cannot, I cannot, cannot see it on my end, so sorry if you are, but I can't see Facebook in TikTok. All right. I have went off on a tangent there just a little bit with my um, non-tech savviness. Okay. Let me see. All right. So I'm going to get back to the social media comment. Far as platforms, when it comes to um, this specific group, which is Luxury Picnics, or the specific business, um, the platforms that I feel like would be the most beneficial for you would be TikTok, Instagram, and Facebook. I wouldn't even touch Twitter. I wouldn't even touch, and even Pinterest. Pinterest is an untapped market. I would be all over Pinterest if I was starting my business over again today. Pinterest is a very good market. People use Pinterest as a visual Uh, search engine. So this will be a great place to promote your business, um, especially since this is such a pretty business. This is a business that is um, very aesthetic. So I definitely would post on Pinterest. If you're not familiar with Pinterest, please get familiar with it. Um, Because there's so many, so many different 
ways you can grow on there. I think they even have a Pinterest creator fund. So you can even get paid from Pinterest now. Like it's, it's pretty cool. So um, definitely check that out. Okay. I think I've kind of gotten through all the questions that were being asked on here. Let me double check. I'm seeing more questions pop up on here, but I can't see it. You know what? Let me log off of TikTok. Sorry, TikTok. I'm going to let y'all go. Because I can't really see the questions that y'all have on that platform. Hold on. Yeah, because it says... It says 13 questions, I mean comments, but I can't even see it on here. All right, so I don't know what's going on with that. I can't really see it. So maybe type your question again if you have a question and I can answer it from there. But if not, I'm going to get off of here in like the next five minutes because I is hungry and hungry is ah. So I need to go eat me something. Okay, so I don't see any more popping up unless it just did. Okay, so if that is pretty much the answer to all of y'all's questions, then like I said, I'm going to get off of here. But before I do, I do want to let you chickadees know that if you need help with your business, hit your girl up. I actually have, and I don't think I've posted this in the Luxury Picnic group, but I actually have a... Um, And StreamYard users have to grant the host access to view who, oh, okay. Thank you, girl, I am so, this tech stuff, I am not used to the techie stuff. I'm figuring it out and getting comfortable with it, but definitely not used to StreamYard just yet. I'm still playing around with it, but thank you for that. That would make sense. Oh, okay, so I would have to grant you access to see it. Well, I'm going to have to, Krista, you're going to have to help me out, girl. <laughs> you're going to have to help me out with this, this techie stuff when it comes to StreamYard because I'm getting familiar with, you know, going live with it, but I'm not used to all the ins and outs. Like, I can't see all the comments. I'm literally having to be on each platform to kind of go see what comments are left. So, and then they're popping up somewhat on the side, but not all of them are popping up. So it's, it's confusing when I'm trying to make sure I, I get to everybody. So I need your help, Christy. Help a sister out. <laughs> help a sister out. Okay. All right. So, oh, somebody asked, I missed the beginning. Will this live be posted? I don't know. Should it be posted or should I delete it? Y'all let me know. I may be nice enough to keep it up. Okay. So I was pretty much going to get up off of here. But I did want to let you guys know, I do have my um, back to business boot camp. And so this is a four week, listen to me now, four, four, I got my comb. That's how I be having to talk to my kids sometimes. <laughs> but this is a four week training that is for specifically for new business owners, creative entrepreneurs, and multi-passionate entrepreneurs who are looking to either start their business or grow their business or have strategies for their business. So during this four week program, we will have calls twice a week, every Tuesday and Thursday from 7.45 to 8.45, virtually via Zoom. We will meet virtually. And um, I also will have a one-on-one -on -one strategy call with everyone who's within the bootcamp as well. But I am only one person. <laughs> So I have limited the amount of people that can come in because I want to make sure that I can give everyone as much of my attention as I can and be able to answer questions and things like that. So 
I have limited it to only 30 seats for this particular boot camp so that I can be able to get through things quickly and kind of have more of that um, one-on-one -on -one time with each and every single one of the people who join the boot camp. Now, this boot camp is only $97, which is absolutely a steal because honestly, I should be pricing it way higher. But I was like, you know what? I'm not going to do that because I know how it feels to be an entrepreneur who has paid thousands for courses and trainings and this and that and that and this. And they feel like, dang, I paid all this money when I should have invested it into my business or I could have invested it into my business. So the main reason why I priced this boot camp so low is to help give back to other newer entrepreneurs or people who are really struggling to really, you know, grow their business and come up with strategies. I priced it so low so that I can truly help people. Um, but I still have to price it with something. I can't just give my time away for free. So I felt like $97 was fair enough, even though I know I can charge more um, for everything that I'm providing and giving in this training. But I wanted to make sure that I am here for the underdogs and the people who are really looking to grow their business. So if that is you, I will make sure that I have the link posted. Once again, this boot camp is completely virtual. It actually kicks off next week on Tuesday. So you only have till Monday night <laughs> to access this boot camp. And after that, it will be gone. So make sure that you sign up. I will make sure I post a link in the chat so that you guys can access that. And sign up. And that way, if you are struggling in your business and you need to come up with some strategies, you need to come up with how to market yourself. If you need help from beginning of how do I even start this thing from like structuring to building credit to all of this stuff to funding to, you know, I don't know, planning, marketing, if you need all of the, the bells and whistles, everything is described on the link that I'm going to post. But if you need all the bells and whistles of that, I'm here to help you. So this boot camp is a fast paced boot camp. That's why it's only four weeks. So we will meet every week, twice a week, all the way till September 7th. So make sure that you sign up because this offer will not last long. And this will be probably the first and last <laughs> boot camp that I have priced at $97. So make sure that you get access to that today. And I will post that down below. And if you are in the DFW area, I definitely want to encourage you to come out to the content create her power hour this is going to be a very fun event you'll have the opportunity to create content that you need for your business so this will be photo content video content i've rented out a studio we have different backdrops and props that are available um, for you to use and take you know your own video and photo content there also will be a photographer there that you can pay directly if you want professional shots and things like that. Um, there also will be a makeup artist there if you need touch-ups and um, things like that. And also your hair touched up or whatever, they can touch you up there and you can pay them directly. But as far as the content creation um, events, um, this one is in person. So you would need to obviously live in Texas for this. But nevertheless, it is good for anyone who is a newer business owner. Um, even if you're not a newer business owner and you want like content and you want to do it in an environment um, that's fun and kind of get tips on creating content to make it easier, then um, this is the event that you want to come to. You can definitely schedule which session you want to be at. There is uh, two sessions available, so you can schedule whichever one that you want. And um you, okay, I'm sorry. Somebody text me. You can schedule whichever uh, session you want, and each session is an hour. So um, those are two, I feel like, really good events that would be good for entrepreneurs who are just starting out. And like I said, even if you're not just starting out, this is still very good information that I'm providing at the boot camp and then also in person at the content creation event. So I have been on here for quite some time now. So I'm going to have to say in the words of, is it Timberland? Is it Timberland? Um, I think it's Timberland. Who was on who was on the song with um Aaliyah? I think it was Timberland when he says, It's been a long time. I shouldn't have left you without a dope beat to step to step to do do. Yeah, 
it's been a long time because I've been on this live a long time. So I'm gonna have to leave y'all with another dope beat to step to and get on up out for here. So I hope you guys have a fabulous Friday. Because yeah, I've been on here for like an hour. So yeah. I hope you guys have a fabulous Friday. If you guys want more of these lives. Um, be sure to let me know. Leave me some comments. Um, I will leave this live up. I was just playing with you who said that earlier. I missed the beginning. Will this be posted? Yes, I'll leave this live up so you can go back and watch it. But um, if you guys want more, make sure to comment down below and I will do more lives like this. Um, they will be impromptu. <laughs> so um, just let me know in the comments um, and we'll talk about different topics. So anywho, let me get off of here. I hope you guys have a fabulous Friday. Bye.